I'm gonna close to the wall. Oh, oh I hit something. Wait, no. Hold on, hold on, balloon's going in. Oh god. Get back on. Oh, shit! Shit! What is up everybody, White Lighting Issue Woody here with another video and today we have a segue. So this will officially be the 700k subscriber special. I know it's late, I'm really sorry, I wanted my main account back and I was banned and all that stuff, but what we'll be doing today is going out and doing some challenge raid. I'm gonna ride this thing, I'm gonna ride around on it, and we're gonna be doing a couple of attacks. I already did that, so let's go check out the attacks that I did on top of my segue. Okay, so for the first attack, we're gonna be doing a Lava Loonian attack, keeping it basic, staying with the Lava Loonian strategy, and for the second one, we'll probably take out some dragons and uh, see how we do with that. But uh, yeah, guys, this is probably not gonna go great considering I'll be spinning in fucking circles, but hey, we'll see how it goes. And uh, if I eat shit, I eat shit, and that just kinda goes. So uh, let's go find an attack and uh, attempt this raid. Wow, guys, so it looks like we found a super lucky raid. It's about to start 762,000 gold, holy shit. Look at all the loot, okay. So we're gonna start this raid, uh, and I'm freaking freaking out right now because there's so much loot in this space. Oh my god. All right, we're going in, guys, we're starting. Okay, we're starting with the spin. And uh, we're going to be going from this left side over here. Oh my god, this is hard to focus. We're going to drop the rake spells first because knowing me, I'll fuck this up. Oh god, there's one hound. There's another hound. Uh, this is so difficult. Oh! Oh shit, I'm getting close to the wall. Uh, oh, I hit something. Wait, no! Hold on, hold on, balloon's going in. Oh god. We get back on. Oh, shit! 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 Alright, we're back on, we're back on, we're back on. Okay, here comes the minions coming in behind, picking up the loot. Okay, we're doing good so far. See the first free spell in right here. Come on, go down. Okay, there's a free spell. Oh my god. Oh, shit! Oh, god. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're back on, we're back on. Coming back, coming back. Okay, alright. Alright, there's another free spell down on these. Uh, this shit right here. God, I'm dizzy. Okay, we're going the other way now. Oh my god. I can't see shit! Minions on the Dark Elixir. Nice. I almost fell off again. Now, the question is. Okay, but we need the 50% for sure. I, I can't balance for hell. The Dark Elixir's on the top of the base. A lot of Elixir on the bottom along with the Town Hall. I think we're gonna have to go for, jeez, I can't, oh shit! Ah! All right. Actually, if we can take out this Archer Tower right here, um, which, oh, that's not gonna happen. That was just a bad idea. God! Oh! All right, I'm getting back on. I'm getting back on. Holy crap, I can't like, Whew! I need to breathe, I'm gonna throw up. You know what, we're just fucking, we're gonna put the king right here, he's gonna get all this elixir, it's gonna be great, and then we're gonna put some archers behind him, and then I gotta come back onto the screen, oh my god. <laughs> I'm about to throw up. <laughs> Let's use special ability, because the other king's coming in. All right, Barbarian King, get him, get him. Oh, shit. All right, you should be able to get the town hall. Nope, he won't get the town hall. Okay, we probably should, oh god. Woo! We should put the queen, on the town hall, unless these, hey, wait, maybe these barbarians can get it. Maybe they can, along with the minion power. I'm gonna slow down the spinning, because I don't want to die, because I feel like I'm about to die. Oh god, my stomach does not feel good, guys. Ugh. All right, well, they're gonna get the town hall, though, yes! Woo! We got the town hall out of the way. Now it's up to the archer queen to come in on this side over here and maybe get some dark elixir for us. That would be great. We're just gonna throw her down right here, because I don't see anywhere else to put her. They want to put some wall breakers in, because fuck it. All right, well, we got the 50%. Now it's all up to the queen, guys. Can she get some extra loot for us? That is the question. I'm going to try to stay on screen here. Okay, she's under some fire right now. We're going to use a special ability. Come on, queen. Get up there. Get the get some loot. Get the gold. Nice. Nice. Maybe the dark elixir. Maybe the dark elixir gets maybe a shot on it. No? Okay. All right, she's dead. Two, one, and that's the end of the raid. Wait for it. Wait for, oh god, okay. I can stop spitting now. Wow, I really feel like I'm about to throw up. Actually, I ate lunch just before this, so it probably wasn't great. Um, but hey, hey, on the bright side, look, look. 650,000 gold, 402,000 elixir, 2,400 dark elixir, plus our bonus, and a two-star, five-trophy raid up in the Titans League on the Segway, or the Swagway. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Oh my god, that was painful, and the most painful part is we're about to do another raid too, and I'm probably gonna throw up in that raid, but it's okay. So, hey, that was a shit ton of loot. Awesome raid uh, to start off this challenge series. Let's go back and train up a dragon army and uh, go test that out. All right, so now as you can see, we have a dragon army trained up in the middle of the base. We're gonna go out and drag somebody 
And uh, this one we can't fuck up. The last one was definitely mess up -able, but we got lucky and did okay. This one we can not screw up because literally dragons are super overpowered. So we're gonna be okay this raid. Um, but I'm not gonna try to spin around in circles the whole time because I literally will get sick. I should have sit down for five minutes after the last raid and like recollect myself because I, my stomach was like, Ugh! but okay. On to this raid though. Uh, we got all dragons and we're gonna go out and see if we can crush somebody. So I'll be right back when we find an attack. Okay, what a better way to go in with a dragon attack on this Swagway challenge uh, than a 47 minus 8 offer with a ton of trophies. So the challenge is to get a, I just gotta basically keep moving. I have to keep moving on the Segway. I'm not gonna exactly go around in circles this entire time, but I gotta keep on moving and uh, shuffling around. So let's get the uh, Earthquake spell down on that air defense with two lightning spells, and that should get that out of the way. <laughs> get a little, little spin. All right, there we go. That's down. And then we're gonna get the Log Hound in going up top here with the one, two, three, four balloons. And that should get that air defense out of the way. So now what we're gonna do is drop two dragons on the side, and then another two dragons on this side, and that should be able to take out these core buildings so that we don't have to worry about them during this raid. And then uh, basically gonna go in with the rest of our dragons right here. A giant line of dragons going at the top, and uh, we're gonna be attacking this base. Now we got a lot of dark elixir and a lot of gold in this base that I want to get. So let's do a first rage spell down, and uh, these dragons will be going after this first dark elixir storage right off the bat, which is perfect because that is gonna just secure all of that loot, which is great for us. And then they should be going right into the middle of the base. So let's free spell down on these defenses. And then let's get another rage spell down in the middle. And the dragons are gonna completely swarm the center of this base, which is perfect because uh, they should be right on top of that town hall. Oh yeah, freaking melt that shit, dragons. Yeah, melt, Woo! Oh, oh, wow, caught myself there. Yeah, dragons, there's the two star. Dragons only, I haven't even put down my heroes yet. And we already have the two star down on this base worth 47 trophies. I feel like a dick attacking this base just because, I mean, I just ruined this guy for, like for a lot of trophies. But at the same time, I mean, hey, dude, it's all fair in love and war, Chafiel. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get very cocky and we're going to put a Barbarian King right here and our Archer Queen right here and uh, see if they can go for the three star. <laughs> Again, getting very cocky, but I mean, hey, fuck it, dude, we might as well. We might as well just try and see if we can get it. All right, keep moving, gotta keep moving though. Gotta stay with the challenge, okay. Now the queen is probably gonna run out in front of the king and get targeted by the damn archer tower and then it's gonna be all bad. Come on, king, beat her to it. Beat her to it, king. King, king! Oh, perfect, okay, awesome. The king is gonna be targeted first. Now, uh, I don't know guys, let's see how much loot we can get out of this raid. Uh, Cause there's still quite a bit of dark elixir left. There's a lot of gold left. I mean, there's still a bunch we can get out of this raid before we end it. So I'm gonna use the king's special ability right now and uh, he should be able to mow through a ton more of these buildings and the queen should be able to come in behind and uh, clean up a ton. So, come on queen, it's up to you right now. The Barbarian King is almost dead. This Archer Tower is probably going to finish him off. So I need the queen to go down towards the bottom and grab that Dark Elixir if she can because that would be great. Queen, Dark Elixir, you got this baby. Alright, she's at full health, we've got 20 seconds left. Archer Tower is targeting her, now the cannon, oh actually the cannon is not targeting her just yet. Um, it will be though. Okay, I need you to go get that Dark Elixir Queen. Alright, special ability used. Oh god, 10 seconds. Will she get the Dark, guys? I don't think so. She'll probably grab the Gold though, which is fine too, because that's like 100,000 more Gold. But unfortunately, we will not be getting the Dark Elixir 2-1, and that is it for that raid. Wow, we just freaking destroyed this guy. Okay, I'm gonna stop moving. Look at this. Almost 400,000 Gold, 200,000 Elixir, 4,800 Dark Elixir, and 31 trophies on the 2-star. We got an 87% on this dude. We completely wrecked him. Uh, with this all dragon strategy on the swagway for the 700k challenge. We gotta say that was pretty awesome. So there was the dragon attack. We kicked his ass and uh, now let's go back to base. And that is gonna about wrap it up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that and thank you very much for 700,000 of you motherfuckers. I love you guys. Thank you again for 700k and I will have a 750,000 subscriber special as well. Um, and that'll be like more of like a personal drama life or something like that for you guys because that is three quarters of a million and that's crazy and it's coming very soon. So tell me in the comments, what do you guys want to see for three quarters of a million subscribers? And also tell me your comment questions of the day. Speaking of, let's get to today's comment question of the day. And today's comment question of the day comes from Aiden Caldwell. And the question is, from the moment Town Hall 11 is released, how long do you think it will be before the first person maxes their base completely? And I'm going to say about 10 to 15 minutes. And the reason why I say this is because 
because that's how long it's going to take for someone to download enough gems, basically, to be able to buy that update. And the reason why I'm saying that, other than, like, you know, I'm not going to be like, it's going to take, like, oh, it's a day or a week. No, someone is, like, the top players are literally going to get this update, right? As the update drops, they're going to be downloading iTunes onto their freaking, uh, you know, accounts. And then uh, once the update comes out and then they can load up their game, they're literally, from there, going to go... Buy Town Hall 11, unlock everything that comes with it, max it out, and then have that as their base. Or some might even quit the game when Town Hall 11 comes out. I've heard a lot of people saying that they don't want to play after Town Hall 11, but a lot of people are kind of excited about it, and a lot of people are just like, ah, we'll see how it goes. But I guarantee you in the first 10 to 15 minutes of Town Hall 11 dropping, there will be at least one person with a 100% maxed out Town Hall 11 in base. Hands down, it's going to happen. I guarantee it. And uh, I will show you. I'll try to find the first ever max Town Hall 11 base. Um, but I'm not sure if I can. I'm gonna look in like I'm looking like the top player section, and if I can't find anyone there, then I I don't know. I'm not gonna make a video on it. But I'm gonna try. Like the first or second day at Town Hall 11, I'll try to see if I can find a max Town Hall 11 base and uh, show you guys what it looks like. But yeah, guys, that was today's comment question of the day. Just thought it was a little fun one to answer. And that was today's video. Again, thank you guys very very much for 700,000 subscribers. You guys are freaking amazing. I love you all. And remember to tell me in the comments what you guys want my 750,000 subscriber special to be. Um, because I want to do something more personal, more fun for you guys, because I love you all, and that's, yeah, that's it, so that's it for today, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one, I love you all, peace!